because I don't think we've gotten to see that yet. Battle. It is going to be the Coridon and the Raging Bolt right away here for Wanma. And the Clefairy and the Shadow Rider Calyrex. There's a lot of offense on this field. A lot of offense coming out here. You have the Spell Tag, Shadow Rider Calyrex, and of course the or Calcum Pulse Coridon and Protosynthesis Raging Bolt, both of which will be boosting the power of attacks coming out from those slots. I like the choice of set here on the Raging Bolt. It is still the Assault Vest, but it's not running supportive moves like Electro Web or Snarl. It has Thunderbolt, it has Volt Switch, it has Thunderclap, and it has Draco Meteor, all of which get that same type of attack bonus and will be dealing heavy damage with that Sun Boost from Protosynthesis. The Fairy here, though, actually a really strong partner because it can redirect any attack, make sure you get that nasty plot boost, and then you can start firing off attacks of your own. Yeah, so it's not super easy to just go for something like a Thunderclap here. And there's not really a whole lot right now that is going to be super effective into this particular Pokemon. So Federico on this first turn feels very safe to go for that Follow Me and Nasty Plot to get this Shadow Rider up and running. But what does Wanma decide to do in favor of that? Ooh. It's going to be the Flame Charge into the Clefairy. So not only are you going to have the Sun to boost up the potency of that attack, but it also has the secondary effect of increasing this Coridon's speed so that you're going to be able to start potentially outpacing the Shadow Rider Calyrex. As the Volt Switch comes through too, it's going to deal even more chip damage to this Clefairy and actually bring it down quite low. As the Flutter Maiden now comes in and one Icy Wind drop onto the Shadow Rider Calyrex would be enough for this Coridon to start out speeding it. I love that play a lot. That's such a like really clever play because you get the Flame Charge boost with the speed. Your, your Coridon should still be faster uh, than the Sh Shadow Rider Calyrex and Frederica side of the field. But Fluttermane comes in, should even be even faster than the Coridon, can KO this Clefairy with a Moon Blast if it needs to, and then you have the option to fire off a Flare Blitz all before the Shadow Rider Calyrex can, uh, can attack. <laughs> Well, it's going to just be protects across the board here for all of these Pokemon as the Clefairy goes for a Sing. Not a super high accuracy move, but one way that you could potentially try to slow down the game, especially when that Fluttermane is going to be packing not just the Icy Wind, but also, yeah, Shadow Ball. I like that play a lot, oh, too. Oh, no Shadow Ball. You, just Icy Wind. Right. You get, to, you get to scout out what Federico tries to do there. Now that the Shadow Rider Calyrex has protected, you have the option to go straight for that combo of Moonblast and a possible Flare Blitz. Maybe even a Terra Fire Flare Blitz into that Calyrex Shadow Rider for some big damage. There is no Tornadoes on the field right now, so you cannot Rain Dance away the sun. You cannot turn off that attack boost from Aura Calcum Pulse. And this is a very strong offensive position for Wanma after a turn that looked like it might be a little bit more difficult. Yeah, and it's time to just use the terrestrialization too. Especially when you are in this position, you can just give the Terra over to this Coridon Fire Terra type. Very popular for this Pokemon, not only to be able to make use of the Sun and also the Fire type attacks that it has, but you're also not going to be taking Oof. too much damage either. But ugh, it's not going to work this time around. As the Clefairy still goes for the Follow Me just to see if it can redirect away anything, but it's so low already that this Moon Blast is going to go into the Clefairy and just be able to get the knockout and leave this Coridon with the opportunity to go for some really big damage. The Flare Blitz in the sun with the Fire Terra is just going to be so devastating into the Shadow Rider Calyrex. Get the one-hit knockout. And the KO with the Moon Blast there is huge, too, because Friend Guard could have been a difference between that KOing and not KOing. But Clefairy going down to Moon Blast first means that Coridon's able to get a huge one-hit KO with that Sun Boosted or Calcum Pulse Boosted, Terra Fire Crazy. Boosted Flare Blitz. That's so many multipliers. <laughs> so many multipliers. Especially when you consider maybe like Maridon also being in that same class of, wow, if you just have a Hadron engine up, then yeah. you're just doing <laughs> a lot. But it is now down yeah. to the final two Pokemon for Federico, and he just doesn't see the win condition. Going to throw in the towel after one made might have to just force the 50-50 if you feel like that is one of your only win conditions, but we'll see whether or not that's the case. As we get into this game number two between these two players, it is going to be the exact same leads for the second game. I respect that. Obviously, I think if you're Wanma, that goes very, very, very well for you in game one, and you don't mind repeating it. But I think Federico can play this differently if he wants to. You have the option for seeing on this Clefairy if you want to try and catch Wanma going for a double target into that Calyrex and maybe protect and go for a sing and put something to sleep. You also have the option to go straight for offense. We didn't say the Calyrex get to attack at all, even with that nasty plot boost. And something like a Helping Hand boosted Spell Tag Astral Barrage can do a lot of damage. It really can, but that's where Terrestrialization might be able to come in handy. For this Coridon, at the very least, you're gonna have that Fire Terra-type once again. 
and it's just gonna be a little nice to have versus something that you know the Shadow Rider Calyrex is packing in that draining kiss. Helping hand comes out right away though, gonna be some offense right off the bat. Yeah, this Astro Barrage, it's gonna go absolutely wild into both of these Pokemon. Oh. So much damage. So much damage, but unfortunately not enough. Flame Charge does come through here from the Coridon into the Calyrex. Thanks to the Terra Fire, it does over half of its HP and gets the speed boost at the same time. Volt Ooh. Switch comes out here too and does not KO. It doesn't, so that's a big deal. At least the Shadow Rider Calyrex is able to stick around for one more turn. And more importantly, this Clefairy is actually healthy. Hasn't taken any damage at all. So you're not super worried about it going down to something like a Follow Me. This Shadow Rider Calyrex Calyrex is much more safe. The Shadow Rider is safe from the Coridon, thanks for the follow me, but unfortunately this Chiyu does have a way to hit past that redirection. It carries both Snarl and Overheat, both of which would heavily threaten this Calyrex and most likely knock it out even with that friend guard boost. I like that switch here a lot, even if Fluttermane is in the back, Fluttermane will not be able to do anything to this Calyrex thanks to the Clefairy being there. And since Clefairy didn't take those two attacks on the prior turn, it is not in Moonblast range. But Chiyu with those spread attacks and Heatwave and Snarl now very heavily threatens the Calyrex while not being able to take much damage itself from either of the attacks on the Calyrex's end. Well, while the switch is good in theory, it's actually just going to end up being a uh, Protect coming out from this Shadow Rider Calyrex. And also the order of these Protects reconfirms that with one Flame Charge, that's, that Coridon is fast. Yes. Uh, so very, very big Ooh. deal to know, but the taunt going into the Clefairy. Federico is not going to be able to actually use the Sing after that taunt has gone through. That's so good. That's such a safe play, too. If the taunt goes through, that means there's no Sings, no Follow Me's. You can very freely target the Calyrex Shadow Rider with your own Coridon. Maybe even get a second speed boost. Maybe go for a Flare Blitz, trying to do some more damage on the Switch. But this Calyrex is not in a safe position anymore. And especially this Chiyu, it is not threatened by Calyrex normally. And especially Especially now that it can't attack before it gets knocked out, you can get some huge damage off with a sun boosted heat wave. You can, and that way that's why like having to switch here feels so bad. Especially having to rely on a double protect and oh. it's just not gonna be able to happen. So this Shadow Rider Calyrex is so vulnerable to any attacks coming its way as the flame charge for the Coridon will be plenty to pick it off. So the tor the tornadoes gets to come in, but Actually, it's gonna have to take an attack from this Chiyu too. Yeah, maybe trying to dodge something like a heat wave, but unfortunately it does connect and with the sun boost is a one hit KO. And a single target at that, plenty damage to be able to knock it out. Now it's just the Incineroar and the Clefairy left. And oh. it's such a difficult position. It really is, especially considering this Chiyu again is holding the Covert Cloak. You can't even fake it out. You can pretty freely go straight for a taunt into that Clefairy until it connects, because the last thing you want to happen is some Sings going off, possibly ruining your day here. Unfortunately for Federico, does see the writing on the wall once again, and after a huge, huge two first turns from Wanma is going to forfeit, and Wanma will advance to day two. Wow, I, I mean, what a cool team coming out from Wanma. That Coridon is a, such a unique Pokemon pick, it feels like just a little bit more relevant in the past couple of weeks of 